Today we will introduce the installation of the interior cargo rack. First of all, let's take a look at our accessories. This is the bottom bracket. This is the middle bracket. Then this is the decorative plate of the bottom bracket. These two pieces are the top brackets. These two pieces are equipment panel pylons. This is the compartment storage panel of our trunk. This rod is our clothes rail. There are also four table legs. These four legs fit our compartment panels. We can turn it into a table. Then this piece also has some auxiliary mounting accessories. Next, let's start the installation first. First of all, let's take these six brackets to the car. The first step is to put the car on both sides. There are three screws on each side. Remove the three screws. Then let's take these brackets in the package. This piece of this bracket is divided into left and right. Let's make a distinction. This is the main shelf side, this is the subframe side, and this pad block. And the two bases inside our package. This mounting base is also brought up. This board after we take that screw down. Go through this bracket. Thread this bracket through with this extension screw that we matched. Then pad this pad underneath. The second bracket is installed in the same way. Third bracket. Use this screw from the original car. Put this bracket. Screw on this screw. Tighten the screws after adjusting the position. One side is installed like this. The other side is installed in the same way. Then let's go to these two brackets in the second step. Remove this decorative cover first. Then our bracket is also divided into left and right. You look at that, this is left, this is right. Let's install this bracket. This one of the base has six holes. Let's align with the six holes above this. Then tighten it with a screw. Next, install the upper bracket and the top bracket first. This is also divided into left and right. This has eight holes. Then you go to the eight holes for this base. Then tighten with screws. Screw from bottom to top, this is the state after we install it. Also this plate has 8 holes, let's just tighten it with a screw. We just assembled this upper bracket. Let's load it into the car now. The original car came with 2 screw holes. Let's fix it with these 2 screw holes. And then we're going to put this on the roof of the car. Then put this in the inner test of the decorative board. Use this long screw that we matched. Use this rubber pad in our packaging to prevent friction in the middle of our board. Let's use this screw and nut in the package. Then go through this hole in the roll cage. And then through the hole in this bracket at the top of us. Then lock it with a nut with a screw. Let's take a look at our top mounting bracket. The holder has two holes. Let's use this bracket that comes with the package. Let's lock it with a screw.
Let's load these two equipment panels on the car. Then this panel is also divided into left and right. Let's take a look at the one with three screw holes. This is the upper side. This is the one on the left. Then there are corresponding screw holes in the brackets. Let's just screw it up. After the bracket is installed, when we go to this equipment panel, let's pay attention. The bracket is on the inside of the equipment panel. What about the upper bracket on the left after it is installed? Let's not install the right one first. Let's base this clothesline first. Then there are the clothes rails. You can see that this clothes rail is relatively long. It can only be this angle. Let's put it in. Put it in diagonally at this angle. Then use the base to put this clothesline. Secure the clothes rail on one side first. Then install the panel on the other side. There are 8 such hoops in the package, and then on one side are 4. We have 8 holes on this base on one side. Then let's install 2 on each side. Then just lock it with a screw, then use 4 table legs. Then we stuck the table legs here. That's it. This is our storage partition, let's put it on this stand. Then use the four screws that we matched. There are four holes. Then let's lock it accordingly. We have a peculiarity here, if, for example, we have to have a trunk with large items. Our partition must get in the way, can't hold two big items, we can loosen the screws. Then take this drag plate off. Place on the upper stand. Then tighten it with the screws we matched. Our trunk is still a complete trunk, can hold bulky items. Another feature of our product is that our partition can be taken down. It becomes an outdoor dining table.